as I was growing up, uh, to be honest, my very first goal and dream in life was to just, just to live to see the age of 18. So I never, I never dreamed this in my wildest dreams. I could not have even pictured or planned or even thought about who I am today back then. Never could have did it. The College of Charleston really shaped my life. Um, it saved my life, uh, to be honest. Uh, Basketball was something that uh, I spent my life doing, and the college draw was just great. It was just a, another chapter uh, in helping me to mold me to be who I am today. Just knowing how to articulate and put words together. But it even came more than that, you know, with the communication major. Uh, what it did was allow me to be more of a, a chameleon, I guess. Because of my background and my history of where I come from, the neighborhoods I grew up in, to going to a different environment and being in private school up there in the Northeast. Uh, you know, all of that kind of shaped me to be who I am, to be able to communicate with anybody and everybody in all walks of life. So when I ran for my seat, you know, being a young individual, a lot of people told me not to run. Uh, they thought I was too young. Uh, they didn't think I fit the demographics of the seat. Um, they didn't know if I could win. You know, running that seat and actually coming away uh, with the victory, uh, succeeding a 22-year incumbent was just one for the books. And then, then, you know, to discover that I'm the first African-American to ever hold this seat uh, is just something that, you know, is going to go down in history uh, for my children and my, my great, great, great grandchildren will be able to come here to the state house and say, hey, listen, that's my grandfather right there, you know, and he was the first to do something. I'm the first, but I don't want to be the last. And I want to just pave the road for other young people that are like myself that may not fit the mold, the political mold that, you know, the society wants you to believe a politician looks like, you know, that they can come in behind me and be just as great, you know, potentially greater than what I have done uh, and supersede with everything that I've done in my life. Well, after we won, me and my daughter, we, we rode up Main Street here and we saw the state house here. Uh, and she was like, Daddy, that's where you're going to work. And, you know, uh, I mean, that was just an emotional time for me, just looking at my kids' faces and them being able to say, yeah, that's my dad. My dad is the representative. 